I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stalls TV and in this CAD Works Live tutorial we're going to show you how to apply a split front effect to a text graphic. So we have our text graphic on the screen. Um, you can apply all of your different um, contours, envelopes, any effects uh, directly to the text graphic prior to applying the uh, split front. That way you make sure it's complete and it's splitting it uh, properly for all design elements. So it uh, should be your last step. Um, here within the design studio of CADWorks, I'm just going to double click on the text, go to add effect within the text editor uh, down the bottom right of the pop-up. And then I want to navigate down under the effects folder to the split front folder. Now there are three different types of split front options within CADWorks. There is a typical split front number one, which would be for a zip-up shirt or a shirt that contains uh, no overlap at all, uh, where you just want it to split for a seam or a zipper. Um, and then the other split front two, and then the standard uh, split front without a, a call out for a number, is basically the difference between left overlapping right and right overlapping left, depending on how the uh, button art button-up garment splits. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to pick one of those and open it up to show you. Um, within the text editor, if you're familiar with CADWorks, you know that if you have the text selected, you can change all of the different elements of the text. If I want to change the details and the attributes of the split, I click on the split within the bottom film strip. 50% um, is typically uh, the split that, that happens on, on garments where you want the text to split half and half exactly um, and be centered on the shirt. Um, and the key number here is the overlap distance. So what you need to do is you need to measure the distance of the overlap on the particular jersey or button-up shirt that you're decorating that you want to go across. And you need to type that into the overlap. So let's just say it's a baseball jersey where there's an inch and a half overlap. That's basically going to split the text and create an overlap to where, I, um, where it's going to make sense when I go to apply it. Um, so when the player moves and the garment moves slightly, you're going to see a continuation of the R in the center of that design, regardless of uh, if the garment's flexing or moving at all. Um, at that point, you can rotate it if you'd like. Um, I typically stick with the 90 uh, degree rotation straight across. Um, and if you want there to be some additional gap space for you to trim this apart, um, you can uh, put that as well. I think point two is great for running scissors or a razor in between to trim apart your design for application. Once you're happy, you click OK. It will split it on the screen. And I'm just going to break this apart so I can show you how this overlaps. You can see um, when you apply this, this will apply to one side of the jersey. Um, this will apply on the other part. So when it's applied, it should look like this. So even though it's two pieces, you have an inch and a half overlap to where it, when it's heat applied, it applies perfectly, but yet the software CAD work splits it for you perfectly to make it easy. So there's not a, a lot of guesswork in another graphic design software. Let me undo this and jump back a step here. going to undo a few times and I'll get back to my original text and I just want to show you the other split front option so I'll double click it to review click on add effect go to my split front folder and let's go to the zip up split front which is just cutting it directly down the middle open that up it'll split it directly on the R once again I can punch in the split distance so if this is some kind of unique garment where you want it to split 75-35 or unique placement, feel free to punch that in. Um, I'll just type it in to show you. So you can see the split happened actually um, in between letters here, so it's not even showing up. So let me type in something different so you could see. There you go, it's happening right here um, on this particular one. 55% split. Okay. So anyways, you'll usually run at 50%. Um, there's obviously a zero overlap is what it defaults to um, since it's a zip up and you want it to be even on both sides. And just doing a 0.1 gap, um, that way you can basically apply it. If you want to measure the actual um, size of your zipper and type that in, um, you're welcome to do that. That way you can apply it in one step without having to trim it apart at all. 
Once you're happy, click OK. We're ready to send this over to the cutter. This has been a CADWorks Live tutorial by Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.